Hi everyone. My grilled steak pita sandwiches are nothing short of amazing. We're going to grill a skirt steak, but when we were getting this at the grocery store, our butcher suggested we also use a cut called petite tender shoulder. So we're gonna grill both of them. And later on, I'll give you my take on the petite tender shoulder and let you know how I like it in comparison to the skirt steak. And I'm going to start by seasoning them all. There's a little silver skin on the petite tender, which I'm going to remove. And that should be enough. When I make grilled steak pita sandwiches, I like to season my steaks with freshly ground black pepper, Greek seasoning, a good amount, onion powder, a generous amount, a little garlic powder, Turn them, do it again on the other side. I'm going to tenderize them a little bit. Poke a few holes on them. I like to do that. It actually helps them a lot, I think. If you never tried it, I suggest you do. I think it makes a difference. It doesn't matter if they steak is thick, it goes right through it. These blades are so sharp. Turn it over and do it on the other side. It also helps the season penetrate the meat easier. Cover the steaks with cling wrap and let them rest on the counter for one hour so the season is penetrate the meat and they can get to room temperature. For the tzatziki sauce, here I have a cucumber. I washed it well. I remove the ends of it. I peel it. I cut it in half because it's so long. This cucumber doesn't have many seeds in it. So I'm going to shred it like that. Tzatziki sauce is gonna be on the pita and the steak is gonna lay right on it. Such a delicious sauce. I have a cheesecloth here in this bowl and I'm going to add the cucumber to it because there's a lot of water in the cucumber and you don't want that in your sauce. So I'm just gonna put all the cucumber in there. I'm gonna let it, the water drain out of it. See how much water there is. You may also use a paper towel if you want, kitchen towel. I find cheesecloth to be great. I just squeeze all the water, as much juice as I can out of it. I add two cups of Greek yogurt, two garlic cloves minced, two tablespoons of minced fresh dill, one and a half tablespoons of minced fresh mint, the juice of half a lemon or two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, one teaspoon of lemon zest, Greek seasoning to taste, I add about one teaspoon, freshly ground black pepper to taste, and salt to taste. I'm gonna add a little bit now. I'm going to mix it up, taste it, and then I'll see if it needs anything else. Mm, the smell is wonderful. It's all fresh. We love tzatziki sauce here. That's why I'm making a lot. Make sure we have plenty for the pita sandwiches because we're going to put that on the pitas and put everything else on top. So we want a healthy layer of tzatziki sauce. This is gonna taste better once it stays in the fridge for about an hour. And that'll be the time that we'll cook the steaks. It's absolutely fantastic, but I want a little more salt. And actually, I'm going to add a little more Greek seasoning to it. 
get a little mix. Now I'm gonna cover it and put it in the fridge until the steaks are done and we're ready to assemble the pita sandwiches. I make the salad dressing in a mason jar. I add one quarter cup of good extra virgin olive oil. I use a Portuguese one because it's what I like. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. One tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Three teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Salt to taste. Greek seasoning to taste. Freshly ground black pepper to taste. Two teaspoons of white granulated sugar. And a little pinch of dried oregano. I like to use Brazilian oregano here. Close it, shake it, and look how beautiful, gorgeous that is. For the salad, I wash a cucumber. I cut the end pieces off, like I did the other one. I peel it. I cut it in half like this, and then again. and I spoon the seeds out into a bowl. And the last one. I like to slice it thinly, but obviously you may slice it as thick as you want to. You may even leave the seeds in there if you like that way. Here I have half of a red onion and I'm going to slice it thinly as well just like I did the cucumbers. And into the bowl it goes. Here I have half of an iceberg lettuce that I cored and I'm getting ready to cut into thin slices as well. And I'm going to add it to the bowl. Now I'm just gonna give it a good toss. Mix it all up. I'm going to add tomatoes, but not to this bowl. I cored and seeded two large Roma tomatoes, which I cut into bite-sized chunks like this for me to add to my pita sandwiches later. My husband, he prefers the cherry tomatoes on the vine called sugar bombs. He swears by them, he loves them. He says they're really sweet. But I'm not crazy about cherry tomatoes, so I'm gonna have my aroma and he's gonna have the sugar bombs. There are also a couple of other things we'd like to add to our grilled steak pita sandwiches. Green olives, which I sliced, and garlic and herb feta cheese. I'm going to let them rest for about 10 minutes. This is the petite tender. And I'm going to place it in a bowl. Now I'm going to slice this skirt steak. I'm going to cut this skirt steak against the grain. And so far, it's a lot more tender than the shoulder petite tender. There you go. And let's not waste these delicious juices from the plate. When we were at the supermarket, of course we got our pita, but then we spotted this, garlic tandoori flatbread. And we're gonna try this. So we'll let you know how we like it, because we never had this one before. Before I start making the grilled steak sandwiches, I wanna show you something. Something that we're going to use as a topping for them. Isn't this the cutest thing you have ever seen in your life? Little grape bunch. And best of all, it came from our own backyard, everybody. We had a little bunch like this last year, but the raccoon ate it. But this time around, I harvested it 
before the raccoon got to it. And it's really sweet. It's a Florida variety, but it has seeds. So I'm going to cut them in half, remove the seeds, and use as a topping because it's so sweet. It's going to balance out the acidity of the tzatziki sauce, the acidity of the dressing, and the feta cheese. It's just going to be a perfect little sweet balance in this dish. How cute is that? I heat up a pita bread for myself. The way I would like to start is by putting a little bit of tzatziki sauce on the pita bread and spread it just like this. Put a good amount on there. Put a little bit of steak on top of that. Put a little bit of salad, a little lettuce, a little onion and cucumber. Of course, my Roma tomato. I love my Roma. Those little sugar bombs are great and all, you know, they're sweet, but they have a little thick skin. And I have a little feta cheese, garlic herb feta cheese, that is. Just a little bit. This is getting pretty hefty over here. A couple of pieces of olive, well, maybe three, well, four. <laughs> And of course, how could I not, right? A little bit of our sweet little grapes. I cut them in half like I said I was going to and remove their seeds. They're gonna add a perfect little sweetness. Now, if that is not great enough, let's not forget our delicious dressing. Shake it a little more. I'm just going to Drizzle a little bit of it on everything. And last but not least, a little freshly ground black pepper. If this is not awesome, I don't know what is. Look at all that. So flavorful. Where can you get something that tasty? Huh? At home. Here we go, everyone. Mmm. This is absolutely delicious. My husband wants a tandoori flatbread, so I'm gonna make his for you guys to see. But he wants the same way I made mine. Some tzatziki sauce on it. Some steak. Salad feta cheese, olives, and little cherry tomatoes. One more that I cut in thirds because they are a little long. Some of our delicious sweet grapes. Let's not forget our delicious salad dressing drizzled on it, which is a little sweet too, it's delicious. Summer refreshing goodness. And now a little freshly ground black pepper. I hope you make it. Thank you for watching.